Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're going to make a St. Patrick's Day gnome. I'm so excited. Um, I got some rainbow fabric for the hat. So we're going to do that. I'm reaching guys, I'm reaching. Um, some fiber fill. I think I'm going to make this one a girl. So she's going to have some braids. Um, any color of this floral wire from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use it for the hat. Some stones or something to weight it. I'm not using rice because I'm going to keep these. Um, I got, these are the glitter vase fill. I'm going to use the white for the nose and probably the hands. And I'm on the hunt. I had some St. Patrick's Day embellishments I may have to bring to the Dollar Tree real quick, but we'll get this started. Oh, and felt. I'm going to use green for the body. And um, I'm going to cut a little smaller circle than that. And then I'll just use pink on the bottom. Just scraps because you don't see the bottom. And I will stitch them up with some black floss. So you'll need an embroidery needle. Now, this is the point where I'd say, I'm going to sew mine. You can glue yours. You can use a sewing machine. You can use a sock for the body. Socks will work fine for the body. Um, I'm not using a sock for this one because I'm making a girl. If I were making a boy, I would totally use a sock. And they come in three packs for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Um, you could use, if you were, this is a Valentine sock, but you could use a St. Patrick's Day sock. That would work as well. It doesn't matter what you're using for the body. This is all about decorating. I choose to use the felt for this one because I want, um, her little body to show. I may switch up the color. I don't know. We'll see. I've got plenty over here. Uh, you'll need some scissors, a hot glue gun for later, and if you're sewing the hat, instead of using a sock for the hat, you'll need an iron. I'm just going to iron this fabric real quick because it's, it's wrinkly and I want my stripes to line up. So I cut the fabric in half so the stripes are all going in the same you can see that they're all going in the same direction. The colors, if you don't care, just fold it. I care. <laughs> all right, I think that's it for the materials. Let me look around here. If you want a pom-pom, I'm not using a pom-pom on the top of the hat because I'm gonna curl it up. And if you saw the thumbnail, you would have seen that. All right, let me iron this and I will show you how I'm measuring my dimensions. All right, I've cut everything pretty much into pieces. Um, this time I went a little smaller. So I measured this candle, which happens to be 10 inches around, cut a circle, and I cut my bottom piece. And then I measured a little more than 10 inches um, for this piece that's going to become the body. And we sew it together, and I'll show you how I do that. Then I took my hat, I took this fabric, and I said, well... It's not stretchy at all. This is cotton. So I made, I said, well, the circumference then will, should be about 12 inches because you have seam allowances, even if you're gluing. And, um, but I'm sewing it together. And you want it a little bigger than the hat. So I made these, each triangle, half the distance around of what I decided to make the base, which was 12 inches around. So I made each triangle base six. How a point do you make it is up to you. There is no measurement. You just make a triangle, whatever triangle you want. I'm going with a base that's going to go around the hat. It's 12 inches. I'll give myself usually a 5 8 inch seam allowance. That'll give me some play. The top of the hat will have play to it. This will not. I mean the top of the head. So right now I'm not worrying about that. I have to get the sewing machine out. What we're going to do just like we did before. We're gonna sew this base on using a blanket stitch. Um, I'm using all six strands of embroidery floss and just tying a little knot. And then you put it in the bottom of your loop. So this is gonna be on the inside of it. And we're gonna do the blanket stitch. So you start on this corner here and I've showed this before. You come in through both pieces of felt, pull it up, and right when you get to the end, you have this loop, you gotta go through the loop. It's a decorative stitch. 
but it's going to look really pretty um, on our, this is going to be a girl gnome. Oops. And you kind of just don't want to grab it too tight like I just did here. But if you do, you can just loosen your floss. You just want to make it pretty tight at the bottom, but we're going to put the stones in a sock and drop the sock down in here like I did on the Valentine gnome. It just keeps them under control and their dust from escaping. Ah, girl. I'm going to keep doing this apparently. There we go. So I'm going to do this blanket stitch all the way around until I get the loop or the bottom of the cone. I'm creating a cone. Again, if you want to use a sock, get a green sock. Stuff the sock, and then you just have to get a hat. There is no right or wrong way to do this, guys. That's the beauty of making gnomes. You make them your own. So I'm going to sew all the way around this circle on the bottom and halfway up the back, and then I will show you what it looks like when it's finished or when I'm doing the closing up the cylinder. We are ready to go, guys. Okay. I finished my cylinder. All I did was just sew it. Blanket stitch around the bottom, up the front. So that's good. Then up here, I did just a basic basting stitch or straight stitch that's going to be used to tie it. So I did that. Here's a sock with just some stones in it, nothing of any importance. We are going to, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I will show you everything that there is. Okay, so the stones are in the bottom and I need to find my fiber fill. I've got another bag, but we'll finish up this one first. And then we're just gonna stuff this guy girl actually she is our gnome that is a girl the first one I made with ponytails and I'll show you in a second how we're gonna do that but let's this is just a chopsticky thing that comes with this bag of fiber helps you push everything down like that I want it pretty tight pretty full um and then we need i'll have to open up another bag probably for the hat but let's get this body together so my basting stitch no nope, we need more <sighs> silly girl and i also need to get a nose out let's just put all the rest of this in here there we go we finished this off and you just want to make sure that it goes down, you know, around that sock. And then you just top pull that. It's like a drawstring, really, you know. Well, it is a drawstring. <laughs> and then because I'm using a pretty thick embroidery floss, everybody stays together. So we have that. There's the body. And he's just going to sit there. She, or she. She's going to be a little tall, I think. That's okay. Now, the arms. I just took a piece of the felt, cut it, and hot glued them in half. Nothing major there. And then I put some little hands on it, which is just some foam ball. And I'll show you how I did that. I took my scissors and you just want to make sure you open up that that's all the way open like that. I'm going to fill it with hot glue just on this tip here. And then you take your ball and stick it in the hot glue. And now it just needs to dry but that's your hand and you can see some hot glue we'll just make sure that one is face down or you can clean it up it's hot glue guys nobody cares it's gonna dry clear so I have two arms because they're gonna hold something fun here in a second okay body complete hat all I did 
is I sewed up the sides of my triangles. And now we're going to turn it right side out. And that this is going to help with that as well. So we have one thing we need to do. Once I get it turned inside out, I need to um, pull it back up. We're going to put a wire in here before we stuff it. And the wire is going to help us do this hat the way we want to do it. If you want your hat to stand up or make it like curly or however you want. Now I tried my darndest to um, match up my stripes. They're not perfect, but they're at least going in the right direction. Um, I could iron out the seams, but because I'm stuffing it, I'm not gonna worry. And the only other thing I need to do is take this wire. This is why it doesn't matter what color the wire is. Because it's going inside the hat with some glue and then we're going to stuff it with fiber. So you just want to, and this is pretty soft wire. You could try to find a little stiffer, but it's fine. And you just snip it off. I use wire snips. I got a good pair of wire snips. Let's make sure. Now you see how this is going to go all the way to the tippity top. And what I'm going to do is put some hot glue up here and make sure this stays up there. So we're going to undo it again. And we're gonna put a blob of glue on this and then just kind of feed it down in there. Does that make sense? So you kind of wanna, most likely it's gonna get stuck along the way, but I don't care. Just a little bit of hot glue and into the hole. I just want it to stick to the tip. Yeah. Hot glue in the tip. Ooh, I missed a seam. Perfect, I can just hot glue it. It's not a big deal because I'm gonna be curling this upon it. So, but let's put a little glue in there so that seam stays. Next, I need to go grab the fiber fill. Fiber fill is here. And what we need to do, you're just gonna to have to kind of work around this wire. You need the wire to stay up in there. And I would think I think for me, it was just going to be easier to get the wire in there first and then stuff up the hat. And you don't want to overstuff this. It needs to have some play to it. I'm just trying to get a little bit of it up into the tip. So I'll speed it up so you can see what I'm doing in fast motion. Okay, hat is full of fiber. 
You could leave it totally straight if you want. I'm curling mine. Somehow fun. But first, we need to get everything attached to the head. I've decided I'm going to let this be the front, like uh, buttons on a jacket. So we have this. So that's her front. For her hair, I bought this faux fur yarn. Oh, it is so soft. It is like the softest faux fur ever. And I'm not even braiding it, although I could. I don't know what we think it would. I don't know that you're going to see much of it on a braid, but I can do a quick, you know, quick braid just to kind of knot it together. But it's not necessary, and I'll show you why in a moment. Because um, I think I'm just going to tie a bow. So we need to find the halfway point, first of all, which is going to be right here. And I think we'll attach the hair on either side, right there. And this is just glue. I did tie these, this string or this yarn with just some green twine that I'm going to use on the end as well. You could use a rubber band. There's really, there's no right and wrong. You can use regular yarn. I just thought this was so fun. And I had a coupon. All right. So we put the braids on. I say braids. It's just that. It will be a braid in a second. I'm going to cut... Some green here, just green twine, just trying to keep everything, you know, a little bit in the St. Patrick's Day vein. And then we can just do a quick braid, I suppose. Maybe. No, I don't like the braid. I like it to look fuller to the front. So we're just going to take a piece here at the bottom, and tie it together. Leaving yourself some room at the bottom because you're going to need to trim off if it's not even. But we'll do that the last thing we'll do. So I just tied her hair at the bottom over there. Where'd my little piece of twine go? Well, I'll just get another piece. And try to make it even if you can. It's nothing dramatic because there's going to be some arms in here too. And I'm just tying it in a knot. I mean, this is like as basic as it gets, guys. But if you want bows, you can use bows. You'll see why I'm not doing anything too fancy to her um, strings in a second. Okay. Now, I can already tell you this is going to have to be trimmed on this side. But that's all right. Uh, maybe not. I think I just pulled it off and that was the problem. Okay. Back up here. There we go. We'll let that set up. Now we need arms. I'm going to do the seam on the bottom and I'm going to stick these arms up under her hair right here. See, I'm going to stick it right like that. I want it to come out in front of her. And we're just going to attach it like that. Nothing of any measuring. Oops. No measuring. But you do want to make sure it sticks. I'm even going to, well, never mind, because I'm going to put the hat on over it. Here's what we're going to have her holding. It's this um, foam scatter. And I'm going to, I know there's a big old four-leaf clover in here. Okay. So when you put the hat on, see where the arms are going to come out front? And we're going to do this side. So let's go to the back so we can see exactly where that one is. And we're going to put this one to match, seam side down. Oops. Need some more hot glue, guys. I go through a lot of hot glue crafting. And we'll put this one here. And we just want to make sure, oops, on the front side that they're going to be even-ish. There we go. I hope you can see what I'm doing. 
Now, what's going to happen is the hat is going to cover all of this, which is why I gave myself those extra inches. If you have like a sock for a hat, let's say, you can um, have, you'll have more stretch, but I am not doing that. Now, here's our side seams right here. That is the front. Here's our side seams on the hat and we're just gonna put it on here. Right? Oops, let me make sure. There we go. I want to squeeze it in and make sure the hat goes down pretty well over all of the pieces. See? Now we're gonna lay it down in hot glue up here. And I'm just gonna let that sit and dry for a second. I need to go get a nose for her. I think we'll use a pom-pom. I went all the way around her body, her hat, and hot glued it up underneath. Here's her little cute nose. Um, it's just a white pom-pom. I was gonna use brown, but I used white hands, so there's that. That's her little nose. Oh, I should make some wire glasses for her. What do you think? And then the last and final step before I trim, you know, trim it up and clean it up, she's gonna be holding a four leaf clover in front of her, right? Because isn't that awesome? So we're going to just glue it right here. Little hot glue into the hand. And since they're both styrofoam, I feel like it'll Cool pretty quick. Just want to let it sit there. I'm going to glue the other hand. So one second. Drying the glue down here on her hands where she's holding the clover. It's going to glue it to her belly just a little bit. Now the hat. We need to deal with this hat. Moving everything out of our way. What we want to do is I want to curl it but I need to go this way a little bit, and then we're just going to curl the wire. Right, the wire that we put in here. And kind of curl it down and then over that way. Oh, guys, this is adorable. What do you, oh. I love it. I'm gonna put them on my mantle and I will show you the finished product. But that's all I did is I curled that. Now you could, I could have left that internal wire just a tad bit longer, but honestly, I just think this is perfect. Did I love her? I will show you when she's all dry. Oh, look at her. Isn't she adorable? Guys, I am in love. Look at the glasses. I just folded or took some of the wire that I used to put up in her hat and I used some gold and made a little bit of wire rim glasses. She's holding her little clover and her little dress. I love her and I hope you do too. Have a good one. Bye.